Hey beauties, welcome back. It's your girl Nicole Monique at Nonstop Chic. And today we're gonna be creating this look specially for the Met Gala. So if you wanna see how to create this Met Gala look, just keep on watching. Now let's get started. <laughs> okay you guys, we're getting ready for the Met. So prepping for the Met takes some skincare and some preparations like these. So these are the Hydra Cool Firming Eyes by Skin Iceland. It conditions the skin underneath so it's gonna reduce wrinkles. It's also gonna smooth out any lines you have. If you have bags, it will decrease the appearance of a heavier under eye. We're getting ready for Met, so we gotta get all the skincare in order as well. Cause right, Cam's is about to be flashing. Second thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take a headband to protect my hair from any makeup from the look that we're gonna create. So this is just a little disposable headband that I'm just going to attach like so. Then I'm just gonna pull that back, back away from the face. This way I'm fully concentrated on my face. I can really see the details and I can really get down along that hairline without transferring any makeup to the hair. Now, I'm gonna remove these eye patches. Brace yourself. <laughs> Next thing I'm gonna do is moisturize. I'm using the Luxme Cream Du Nil Moisturizer. This is a pore refining moisture veil. This is my absolute favorite moisturizer. So we're just gonna apply that like so. Gotta get all this really good skin prep going before we do our makeup. For any big event, you have to have a facial or some kind of skincare regimen that you do before you hit a red carpet or if you're gonna be anywhere that's gonna be photographed. 50% of the look is gonna be your, your actual skin. The other 50% is going to be that. Oh, grr. so next thing I'm gonna do is take my primer. Today I'm gonna to be using the Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer and I'm just gonna apply that on top of the moisturizer and you'll see what it does. How right now I look almost over radiant. This is going to bring it back to more of a balanced look. See how it just kind of flattened everything out, right? So now I'm not so shiny. First thing I'm going to do in terms of our makeup steps is these eyebrows. It's so important that you hit all the right angles when doing your eyebrows because it really does frame your face and just sets the stage for everything that's going to come underneath it. So today I'm going to be using my Anastasia brow pencil in Auburn. So to line my brow, you know, I just kind of like to start right here on the side of the nose. This is where I'll go and then kind of right outside of the color of my eyes, right? Right out there. And then I'm going to take it out, of, out to the corner of my nose. See directly there to that outer edge? That's where my eyebrow should land for the most symmetrical <laughs> eyebrow shape. So, let's get to it. I like to outline my brows first with the pencil just so I can already see the basic shape before I go back in and then fill them in. It just makes it super easy. Next thing I'm going to do is grab my dip brow from Anastasia Beverly Hills once again, the pomade in Auburn. You guys know what the dip brow looks like, especially by now.
The foundation I'm going to be using today is from Bobbi Brown. I'm wearing the Skin Longwear Weightless Foundation that also has an SPF in it. I'm going to apply this, but before I apply that, I'm going to take the MAC Strobe Cream in Golden and I'm going to apply that to my fingertips and just make little dots all over my face. And you all know I usually only use a beauty blender to apply my foundation, but today, since we're going to the Met Gala, hunting, I'm going to use my brush. Little random dot. All the way around. Just dot, 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 dot. I don't want to over foundation, right? You want to get a good foundation, but when your skincare is good, you don't have to overdo foundation because you want to use some of this glow, skinny, <laughs> skinny glow, skin glow to complement your look. Now I'm just going to start dabbing it all in together and you'll see how it kind of illuminates. So today I have, I'm going to be using the Morphe concealer and then because we are going to the Met, I'm going to be using my Tarte Shape Tape in Tan Sand just in case, just in case for backup. But Morphe is going to be our base, so let's see how this pans out. So this is my first time using the Morphe concealer. I really do like how it's going on and I think it is a really good dupe for Tarte Shape Tape. I mean especially at a $9 price point. I'm also using the Fenty Beauty Translucent Powder today for the first time that I really really love. I'm just going to bake with that for a few moments and then wipe all of the excess away. So this Fenty powder is some powerful stuff. That's what I use for setting powder because we are going to the Met. This is the banana powder, the banana color. And I figured it was gonna be something kind of like the Ben Nye powder, but this powder has so much strength. So I just gotta make sure I wipe off as much as I possibly can. Alright, so we've done some up lighting, which is the opposite of contour. Therefore, my jawline is gonna stand out. This area of my face is gonna really stand out. I'm gonna have to look like this up until we complete the look. It's okay, you guys. It's gonna come back around because I know I look so bright right now. So, now we get to move on to the shadow. I was trying to think what kind of palette should I use, but I wanted a lot of options. I didn't want to feel like I was in just one genre where my options were limited. So I decided to pull back in a stash. This is my Morphe 35B eyeshadow palette. I have a label because I mean you can't tell which which is which from Morphe. And this is what that looks like. Almost any and every color you can possibly think of. This 35B palette for me is quite similar to the shade range of the James Charles palette. I'm gonna have a lot of fun using this palette. Okay. So we're gonna start at our crease with this kind of like lavender taupey color. There is no name for it, but this is the one that I'm gonna start with. All right, so I'm gonna take that lavender and just pop it right in the crease.
Yeah, now I'm gonna accentuate that with just a deeper purple, just underneath. And this, I'm just gonna literally just pop this, pop this color right in there. This one here. I'm gonna take this purple color and apply it right beneath the lavender for some dimension. Now see, when I blend this, and I don't know if it's the eyeshadow, this is actually my first time using this palette. I have had it for a long time. But I feel like the lavender is leaving. So I'm gonna have to go back in with a prep and prime because I feel like I just completely blended like that out and all you see is this bottom line. So let me do that. I don't like to do that because when you're in a crunch, when you're at the Mac Alley, you know what? I'm gonna switch my product. Cause we go into the Mac Gala and I'm trying to work with Morphe. Nothing against Morphe, I'm just saying. So let me get some prep and prime. I am gonna use this lavender as the base, but when I go in with, um, my purple is going to be completely different. And this is not an all purple look, by the way. I'm just trying to get the base set up and I'm having a bit of an issue. So. Okay. Oh, this is better. It looks more blue. Look at Prep and Prod. Look at Prep and Prod. There you go, prep and prime. All right, so this is our backdrop. That's enough of that. This is the Ultra Brown Suede Eyeshadow from Pat McGrath Labs. I love how this pigment goes on so smoothly and right away, it will get me to my desired look much quicker and giving me immediate results like I want. So I kind of switched this look up and toned it down a little bit with the Ultra Brown Suede from Pat McGrath. I told you I was going to switch up my products because we're going to the Met Gala. And I thought that Morphe, that lavender color, did set a really good kind of background. So I kept that, but now I want to elevate it to a more artsy, more fashionable, more fashion place. So. Pat McGrath it is. All right, you guys, just so you know where this is going, I went ahead and I just completed one eye. Next, I'm gonna go in with the Pat McGrath Purple Rain with an angled, angular brush, flat angle brush. And I'm gonna dip that in a pressed pigment and I'm gonna create a wing. Next, I'm gonna take this Pat McGrath Astral White pigment and it actually has some flecks of blue in it and I'm going to take a little small detail brush like this and just pop that right on the inner corners now I'm going to go in with MAC electric eel apply that underneath the waterline right along the lash line Take an even smaller brush and extend that blue line right underneath the purple wing. So now we have a blue and the purple wing. Now I'm going to go in the waterline with the purple rain pigment.
Now I'm gonna take the Urban Decay Distortion, which is like a glitter. I'm gonna pop that right on top of that astral white. Now it's time for our lash. Today I'm going to, I'm using the Lily Lash in Chicago. Shot town baby. Okay, so now we're going to bop back into some skin. Right, because we didn't do no highlight, no powder, no nothing at this point. So, first thing I'm going to do is grab my Bobbi Brown Sheer Finish Pressed Powder in Golden Brown 9. The only powder I seem to be able to wear. Well, my favorite. I'm sure there's other powders out there, but this one catches my undertone perfectly. take this Cover Effects palette. This is the Perfector Face Palette. And in here, it has a highlighter, a contour, a finishing powder, a blush, a brightener, and another highlighter. First thing I'm going to use is the contour, because this color is so fabulous and perfect for me. Now we're really going to work to carve out those features and also enhance them. Right now I'm starting off with my cheeks, then I'm going to go down along the jawline so that that stands out as well. Then I'm going to move up to my forehead to minimize the forehead and then blend everything out for a cohesive, sculpted, perfected look. Now I'm going to go back in with the cover effects and I think I'm going to use this blush here. We'll see if we like it or not. It might be too dark, but maybe not. Just a little down, just a little, I just need just a little bit of this because this is coming on. It's a beautiful blush actually. Alright, so we're really building this sheet area. Last but not least, this is the highlighter I'm going to use today. It is the Diamond Glow Powder in Summer Haze. Wow, that is so pretty. I'll get over it for a quick second and then do my nose. Now, I'm gonna take my Pixie Makeup Fixing Mist to just bring all of this together. Mm -hmm. I love a good mist. And now, it's time for our lip. I'm using Tara Kiss by Jordana for my liner today. take the lipstick we're gonna do two lip looks right because this could go either way right because it's the Met Gala we can keep it simple depending on the outfit that we wear or we can go bold so let's do the more simple prettier look well not prettier more natural look oh I'm sorry this lipstick is by Too Faced it is birthday suit birthday suit. So this lipstick is a demi matte which means that it's not as drying as a matte lipstick and it has some sort of oil in it to give it more of a luster. And I'm going to top that off with a gloss by Kylie 
And this is the Kylie Jenner gloss in literally, like literally, right in the center. Well, ladies and gents, this is the final look that we created inspired by the Met Gala. I hope you guys enjoyed this look, creating something that was bold, but also kind of reserved at the same time. You could wear it every day, but it still would stand out on a red carpet, you know? So, I know I said I was gonna do two looks of this, which is what I had originally planned, but I am so, satisfied with this, that this is where I'm gonna stay. Sometimes that happens too. You think you wanna switch it up and make it more bold, and then you throw on the outfit, and you're like, mm, I don't need to go no further. I think if I did do the bold lip, it would just look like I'm trying too hard, and I still want an air of effortlessness. I think that is essential. So, just wanted to chime in and tell you guys, let you guys know, now I'm gonna get Two looks this week, or maybe next week. Hi, right, y'all. Stay <laughs>